All right, guys, I got a 2009 Honda Civic here. If you have a 2009 to 2006 Honda Civic, this EGR law right here, right? This can cause a lot of trouble, like misfire, car shaking, lean, all kinds of stuff, all right? It's all a matter of a fact that there's a little valve in there, the little, uh, it opens and closes. If it stays stuck open, it's gonna have a vacuum leak internal. You're never gonna find it. You can spray things out here because it's going internally, all right? So I'm gonna show you a little bit. I'm gonna give you specs and everything and how to clean this little guy, all right? Save yourself a couple of hundred bucks. Easy fix, all right? Random misfire, EGR off codes. Clean it before you replace it. But 2006 and up, almost up to 9, 10, 11, 12. These cars have an EGR wall, all right? It's a part number here. If you need numbers. But anyways, sometimes you will have codes for this cat uh, for this uh, EGR. And here's a pipe that comes all from all the way down below. So what happens is fumes coming through here. They uh, get trapped here and then the EGR wall opens and it releases the port for it to burn off in the block, all right? So very simple procedure before you replace this piece you can clean this all right because the performance will be either if the circuit is bad then you have no option but to replace it but sometimes it's under performance all right sometimes these pipes get clogged up you can blow air in it i'm going to show you how to do that but very simple procedure you take this little guy right here you squeeze that and you remove this and then we're going to remove the number 12 bolt right there and number 12 right there so again, to remove this EGR valve, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take a, I have a number 12 socket with the extension and a ratchet, that's all you're gonna need. All right, so you take this bolt, I am gonna give you specs at the end of the video, torque specs, all right? And all you do is you break this loose, and you grab this, There you go. All right, put the bolts, the nuts are safe. I'm gonna give you some causes this would, some condition. This can cause a misfire if your vacuum is the valve is stuck open or if you have carbon buildup, the car valve does not close all the way. So pretty much lift this up. There's a gasket right there. You do not touch that gasket, all right? So to clean this EGR valve, we're gonna take it on the floor and we're gonna clean this little guy. All right, and it's a very simple procedure to clean this. Okay, so to clean this valve, what we're gonna do is, you're gonna grab this and, very simple, don't yank it too far. So I'm gonna use something here to hold this and this valve will stick open, all right? Very simple, you take a parts cleaner. This is a brake cleaner, all right? That's all you're gonna do. Give it a few shots. All right, let it dry off. After a few minutes, give it another shot. All right, so that's how simple it is to clean this little guy. There's a small hole over here. So all it does is it lets the, it rents it right through here. I'm gonna show you on the engine block. All right, that's the only function it has, all right? Clean up the port really well. All right, the only problem that you're gonna have is this little guy, if you have a carbon buildup over here, it's not gonna close all the way. It's gonna be open, stuck open a little bit. All right, this is nice and smooth. All right, so if carbon gets stuck in there and this thing doesn't close all the way, it's gonna stuck, stay open just like that. And the air is gonna flow right through here and it's gonna cause a misfire and your cylinder is gonna have random misfires and run terrible, all right? And this valve is not cheap, almost like a hundred some bucks, plus labor if you go to a mechanic. But you can clean it, all right? It is cleanable, very simple. One more thing we're gonna do is, you see this pipe coming down from the exhaust system right here, this golden looking pipe. This is where all the fumes come in and they get trapped right here and then the EGR valve opens. And then it travels from this hole to this hole and it goes inside the engine and burns, all right? And very simple, all you do is you take this air, I have an air line here, you just blow it. Sometimes there's carbon in there. And just clean it up real well. Don't spray nothing in there, right? I would not recommend you spray anything in there. And that's it.
Okay, once you're all done, it's time for you to put this back together. Make sure that seal is behind. You see that? That's a seal right there. That's a gasket. If it's ripped, replace it. And all you do is, you cannot put it the wrong way. It only goes in one way, okay? So this goes in just like that. Very simple. And then you take your number 12. And you just simply try to grab the threads bring my light down so it's more clear to see all right there you go catch the threads first as you can see my threads are not going on that's why you don't want to put a ratchet on so we got one and the second one I'm gonna try to get it with this extension all right so all you do is you put this on you guide it with one finger and once it's on there, you could turn it. See, the angle will not be straight because the way the EGL valve is built. But there we have it. All right, I am gonna give you torque specs. But if you do not have a ratchet, a torque wrench, I mean. If you want to tighten it by hand, just try to snug this, even with a, with a torque, torque wrench ratchet, you need to evenly press it in. So you take this, put it in a little bit, and then the other side, and you just tighten it by hand to your best of your ability. And I am gonna give you torque specs just about now. All right, so but before that, let's put this connector back in and it should go click and you're done thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe share and like if you have check engine code send me a message all right so there you have it thank you for watching again one thing i want to tell you is if you tighten these uneven you smack the one bolt down really hard and then try to tighten the second one it's going to crack the housing all right then you're going to definitely need an egi wall because i've done that i've been through that cost me money out of pocket so take it easy tighten them evenly and torque it Okay, so here we are in the diagram here. This is what I use. So the torque spec on these bolts are 16 foot LB. So that's it, and there's a gasket. Very simple, 16 foot LB. If you don't have a torque wrench, just um do it by hand. Just take it easy. Like I said, do it evenly and do it gently and just give it a nice snug to it, all right? So thank you again and bye-bye.